What up, blockheads? Today we're going to be doing a oil change on the Harley Davidson Sportster 48. Alright, so there are an absolute load of videos out for this bike on how to change oil, but you know, we gotta do the blockhead version where you are right here front and center. Basically what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be changing the oil. Uh, we recently just purchased this bike. Um, I don't know when the last service was, so the oil actually doesn't look too bad, but just so that I know it is in great, like, good condition, uh, we're gonna go ahead and change the oil out, uh, both the engine and the transmission. For this step, even first things first, you're gonna to wanna to ride the bike around, get the oil nice and warmed up, and then uh, then you're gonna to wanna to do the oil change. Step one, ride the bike around, warm it up. Step two, take this piece out, the oil cap, take it off, set it on a rag, so that whenever we do start draining the oil, it doesn't create a suction. So I've got the bike on the left just to make it a little easier. I do have it up on a rear stand so that I can get the pan underneath here. Second step, you're going to find this little hose barb piece right here. That piece right there. Loosen the clamp that goes around the tubing on that. And after you loosen it, you're gonna to wanna to pull this black piece out. Once you pull that black piece out, the oil is gonna start draining. At that point, you need to have a pan ready to catch oil. Man, that is not much clearance. It's a low bike. not bad looking. I yeah, just have some shop towels laying around just in case you need to grab one. So if you do have another pan at this point you can actually uh, take that other pan put it up here to get the filter off. You are going to be removing the filter as well which is right here. Turn it counterclockwise. Uh, there is going to be oil that drips down from that. So while that's draining you can actually take um, what I do is I take these uh, pieces of foil. Well, if you guys buy those packs of foil where you can basically rip out a sheet. I just brought a bunch. Put them in the garage throw them in the tool chest for uh, whenever I do an oil change. And so whenever you take the filter off, it is going to leak a little bit. And so what I do is I just tuck some foil in there, uh, cover up as much as I can, just so that oil doesn't get all over it. And uh, it basically forms like a little little channel. So if it does come out, you know, it'll drip out here instead of on the bike, just so we don't have, like whenever we start it up and it heats up, it doesn't have that burning oil smell and all that stuff. But Personal preference if you want to do that, uh, I just like doing it because I like to, you know, keep everything clean. Um, but yeah, entirely up to you if you want to try that out. Pretty useful trick. This looks like it's uh, about done. It's dripping a little bit, but not too much. have an oil filter strap wrench or an oil filter wrench uh, it'll go over that and then you can basically undo it if you don't have that you get uh, I don't even know what these are called it's like a crazy oil it's like an oil filter crescent wrench maybe um, but basically what this does is it grabs into it it will more than likely destroy your filter if you don't have that what a lot of people do I've seen as well is they will take a screwdriver usually like Phillips or flathead and then tap it into the filter and then use that to twist it off and around. However you need to remove the old filter, as long as you have a replacement one, you're good to go. Confirm that you have the right one before destroying your old one. Yep, look at that. All going into the pan. <laughs> That's incredibly satisfying. And instead of all that oil going all over the bike that it goes into the pan. It's a useful trick right there, man. I'll give you guys that one for free. Whoa. Like this. I want that drain out too. A little, uh... <laughs> Little catch pan I made myself out of foil. Yeah, this foil is useful. It's collected a bit. And uh, this is pretty much done draining. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put the plug here back in. 
uh, tighten it down. I'm gonna wipe this down, remove the foil, and then we're gonna put the new filter on. You have to basically grease the, or not grease, but oil the, the ring that's right there, which I'll show you guys here in just a sec. All right, now you don't have to tighten it down like crazy. This thing's not gonna back out at all. And then the rubber basically grabs onto the barbs there. So that should be good to go. So you got your new filter. Got your new oil. For this we are using Amsoil Synthetic V-Twin Motor Oil. If you guys don't know, Amsoil is rated like the top motor oil. You guys look into it, there's been tons of studies done. Great stuff. I'm not I'm not pitching it either. I'm not getting paid by them or anything like that. It's just it's just facts, bro. It's science. Damn it, that was a mess. <laughs> Try to get it in the hole. So at this point, you're gonna take the filter, you're gonna put it back on there. It has been primed with a little bit of oil, pretty good level, I can see it. And basically gonna put it back onto here, thread it on, and you're gonna get it hand tight. Yeah, so just hand tight. Like I said, it'll create a suction, it'll basically hold it to it. All right, so we've got the filter primed, back on, tightened down, we have the plug, under there, replugged, tightened down. Now we're to the point where we need to add oil back to the bike. A Sportster 1200 calls for two quarts. Uh, we did put a little bit in here already. Uh, we're gonna add a little under two quarts. Then afterwards, Harley recommends having the bike basically on the kickstand or the jiffy stand as they call it. Run it for a little bit. You're gonna make sure that the oil light on the indicators goes off and then uh, yeah we check the levels from there so I'm gonna go ahead add some oil to the bike and we do that on this side right here now if you bought a gallon a couple ways you can do this you can estimate right here right so it says two quart three quart but we've used a little bit of it already but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this cool little thing that I've got that measures it out right here I will include a link in the description to all the stuff that I'm using here from the oil to the filter to this little thing. Let's go ahead and fill this thing up. Looks like I just poured a beer. Cheers. It's a beer for the bike. All right, so that's one quart. We need one more. All right, like I said, at this point, the bike needs to be down off the lift and on the kickstand. We'll start it up, see if the oil light goes off, let it run for a little bit. If the oil light goes off, then we'll turn it off, check the oil level. So let's uh, go ahead and get it off the lift. All right, on the kickstand, let's start her up. Let's go ahead and open the garage, so we don't die. <laughs> Once you start it up, this oil light needs to go away, and then we'll let it run for a little bit, and we'll check the, check the oil levels. It's reading about half, not even half, maybe like a quarter, so we'll go ahead and add some more. All right, topped it off a little more, ran the bike for a bit, got it running. It does say to check oil while hot, so let's go ahead and wipe the dipstick clean, re-dip, check the, check the level again, and uh, go from there.
right, so it's reading right in the middle. Totally happy with that. It says uh, check oil hot, and then it says one quart from minimum, or from, uh, yeah, the minimum to full. So that's right in the middle. Uh, I'm good with that. All right, well, there you go, guys. That's how to change the oil for your engine on a Harley Sportster. I will include, like I said, links to products in the description below, from the oil to the filter to a little funnel thing that I used over in there. You got a Sportster, and that's how to change your oil. Obviously, after you run it for a little bit, after you get on it, make sure, check the bottom, make sure there's no leaks. But uh, pretty easy, straightforward stuff. It's awesome working on bikes, man. Love it. Much easier than cars. <laughs> Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, be sure to hit the like button. You guys be sure to see the disclaimer below. Not a licensed mechanic or anything. I'm just a dude in the garage who likes working on his bikes. So you guys do all this stuff at your own risk. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, be sure to hit the like button. If you guys aren't subscribed already, be sure to hit the subscribe button as well. And until next time, you guys ride safe out there. Stay vigilant. And I'll catch y'all later. Deuces.